Hey guys, how you doing? VT Meister here. Hope all is well. Well, I'm outside today on the ground mount system and still uh, working on the problem of the power output for my M250s that are connected to the Suniva panels right behind me here. So let's go ahead and take a further look at things here and I'll show you what I've come up with so far. Since the last video, I've gone ahead and switched out the M250s, which I talked about. I took an older M250 and swapped it with a newer one and we had a perfect sunny day today and output was outstanding for the overall ground mount system. With the M250 swapped out, the older M250 on the new branch performed as expected with the rest of the microinverters and matched up in the power output. I have to note that the newer M250 on the Suniva panel performed with less output than it did when it was on the newer panels. But this performance was the same as the rest of the Suniva panels, which is less power output than my M215s over on the original array. So back to the same problem and issue for my Suniva panels. All right, guys, so by swapping out and testing my M250s, I basically eliminated the M250s as the problem here. The issue must be my Suniva panels or the trunk cable or the connection to the branch going back to the breaker box. All right, guys, so we're looking at uh, yesterday's power production on October 14th. And uh, as I said before in my previous clip, we had a pretty good day here. We can check this out here. Overall, great numbers for middle of October here. I want to show you at uh, about peak here, solar noon 1210. You can see pretty good production on the new array here. Check out these two microinverters, M215s. They are peaking out. You can see the Suniva panels here are producing less power. So let's go ahead and take a look at some specific panels in M phase microinverters. I want to show you that M phase shows a lot of detail. And we can go ahead and look at the both AC and DC voltage as well as current. So I have a couple of screenshots here. Let's go to those. So you can see here we have an M phase M250 on a Suniva 270 watt panel. There's 28.14 volts DC voltage and 7.68 amps on the DC current. Let's go ahead and take a look at an M215 on a solar world panel here. So here we have 29.14 volts DC and 7.86 amps on the DC current. So this panel here is actually producing more power than the Suniva panel. And let's take a look at an M250 on one of the new Solar World 285 watt panels. You can see the voltage here, 29.98 volts DC and 8.16 amps on the DC current side. So this makes sense as this panel can put out more power. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this video here. I'm just going to get outside today and check all my connections here on the Suniva panels and make sure everything is right, do some testing and so forth. I may take all the M250s and move them over to my Solar World panels here and take these M215s here and put them on the Suniva panels. The reason I'm going to do that is because I think I can probably get more power output production from my Solar World panels. And with the M250s, it just makes sense to move them over to the panels, which make more power. All right, lastly, I just want to give a big shout out to a Facebook group, which I'm a member of. It's the Renewable Energy Home Solar Wind and Micro Hydro. And this is an awesome group. There's some wonderful people and users. Uh, everyone's friendly. There's no egos involved here. There's nothing like, oh, my system's bigger or better than yours. Um, it's where you can post, you can ask questions, you can show people what you're doing. Love it. I just want to mention that if you're on Facebook, check out this group here. I learned a long time ago that uh, as a musician, uh, you need to surround yourself with better musicians, with uh, people who know more because you're going to learn more and you're going to get better. And by joining this group, I've learned so much. And just the interactions with my fellow Facebook users here has been a tremendous help in what I'm doing. So shout out to Renewable Energy and uh, many thanks for all the folks on this forum. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like, subscribe, comment. It helps out my YouTube channel and I appreciate that. So take care and we'll catch you next time.